Another very important capability of Canva is in your ability to design resumes and CVs, curriculum retails for yourself. So you can use standard formats, standard templates to design your, your resume in the most perfect way that you can think about. You can have perfect design that can fit very well for you and it will be very impressive if you can have your CVs arranged or designed in this format. Uh, Canva is your friend when it comes to free design of resumes for your professional career or anything. So all you need to do to design a very fantastic resume is to come to canva.com and just come all the way to the search bar over here and just search resumes. And you can see a bunch of templates that you can easily customize to your liking. You can see so much, some of them very nicely prepared. You don't even have to worry about the coloration, the sizing. Everything is prepared in the most appropriate way you can think about. In some cases, you even have the letters, the continuation of it. Some you have more than one page, so you can see more than uh, more than one content as regards the CV. So it puts in everything. Okay, everything that you need is already included in the design. All right. So all you need to do is to select anyone that you want to work on and see what you can do to kind of. Uh, uh, customize it to your liking to fit in and in some cases even you can find application letters that you can customize to your liking or to depending on what kind of message you are trying to depend on what kind of company you are targeting or do they have uh, do they have any format specific format for cv design or anything you can easily use it so let's say we want to go with something like let's select something simple and interesting Let's say we want to go with something like this. We can just open it somewhere and you can see it very easily. You can just go ahead because as you hover over the whole resume, you will understand that all of these are elements that you can easily customize to your liking. Okay, And you can check out other, other ones as well that are also free. This one even includes free application letter that you can customize. So let's say you want to customize this. All you need to do is to start by zooming out so you can see it clearly. And then you can come and change your, your name. For example, you can say Abdul Rashid. And then you can just increase this to fit the content. And you can just put this Said, for example. So you can put what you do. And then you can put your own uh, mission and vision or overall mission. So let's say we can put a, something like a self motivated individual self-motivated and target-oriented professional with exceptional goal setting and time time management strategies so you can put this as something like your overall mission and then you can change this photo and put in your photo you can put your experience put in the date maybe 2016 to 2019 in my own case, let's say 2013 20, to, to date, let's say to date, I am a lecturer, university lecturer till this date. Okay, so you can put in the details, other details, for example, your responsibility and the company. And then from 2019 to present, what do you do? For, and then you can re-edit your contact details over here. You can see the way they are well designed you can just click to just uh, edit and put in your contact, for example, just like so, 234, 235 or anything, 34, 646, uh, one, two, something like that. Okay, so you can put in your email, you can put in your website. If you have any, you can put in even your home address if you have any, right? So this is about this side. Then you can change your photo, you can come to your uploads, you can upload a fresh photo or you can put in any professional photo that you think can, can, can kind of fit in correctly. So let's say we put in this picture of uh, Ian Liu. He is the current president of Ipotos Masters Club. So let's drag and drop him as uh, someone. Uh, although this is Abdul Rashid, so let's just uh, put Ian's photo. I like the photo, so let's just put it as an example because we put enough of my photo so better we use another different photo okay just to promote all right so you can see we just double click and we adjust it and now i think it's perfect 
So you can change the, the element color behind, okay, so that it can fit in and give us another color. So for example, instead of white, we can put in something like, like this. So it gives us another different coloration. Okay, I think this one kind of looks okay for me. So we can take this. And then down here, you can check your education 2014 to 2011 to 2014. So all you need to do is to just put in your education accordingly. So let's say 2013 to 2016, mm -hmm. I was doing my, I was in Amadabel University. Okay, so here I can put, uh, I was doing Masters of Science, right? So you can put your details just like so. You can just edit everything 2016 to to whichever date, what, what degree are you also uh, acquiring. So you can come to your skills over here. So all you need to do, you can say skills acquired, good communication skills. You can put in, you can just double click and you can increase or decrease the percentage accordingly. The percentage right now is 85. You can reduce or you can increase it to maybe 90, 96 accordingly. So digital marketing tool, you can just increase or decrease accordingly, all right? You can just customize this, let's say 92 also. And then you can have trend forecasting, you can increase or decrease, just like so. And if you want, you can equally copy and paste, and then you can put in the same, you can copy and paste. So it's something like uh, duplicate, you can just duplicate this, and you can bring this down a little. So that it accommodates that so you can just double click and say maybe listening abilities all right so you can have listening abilities and you can double click and then increase or decrease the content accordingly so you can make it lightweight or just the normal one you can increase or decrease the weight of of it you can make it bigger or the smaller one i think I'm, i kind of much prefer this number five so you can just make it number five so it's now fit and Everything is now set. So you can add as many skills as you want. Okay, so this is page one. You see the arrangement. You can play around with this color also to change it according to your brand, how you want it exactly according to your own brand. You can change it to something else and until it fits into your brand. Okay, whatever is your brand, you can just change it to fit. So once you zoom out, you can see now the complete resume. So you can change this one also if you want to something else. You can make it something like this. So I think it's now looking kind of professional. Uh, you can change anything accordingly. So once you are done, you can enter the second page. You can add the second page. And maybe this is what you want. You may want to duplicate this so that you can have the arrangement just like so. But if you don't, if you cannot duplicate, you can easily use the ruler. You can enable the ruler and continue with your arrangement. So you can enable the ruler and you can drag and drop the ruler so that you can have the exact dimension that this is divided just like so. And you want to change the coloration of this side to this very color. So you can change it if you want. Okay, so right now it changed everything. So let's try to put in an element. So let's try to put in an element. So you drag and drop. So change the color of this. You can see the way it is arranged. You can just drag it to the bottom here and you can just make sure it is being arranged accordingly. So you can zoom out so you can see it clearly. All right, so it snaps. So all you need to do is to select and come and change the color to something like this. And now you are back to, you can now zoom out and then you can go ahead and put the other details. For example, you can just complete this for example, you might want to copy some of these key details and just copy and then you can come down here and put things like uh, you can paste, you can drag and you can put things like your experience or let's say list of publications. You can have your list of publications just like so maybe arranged here and have all of them arranged and then you can have another one let's say you can copy this again and paste and then maybe you can have it as uh, volunteer activities all right so you can copy and paste also and do something or you can bring in another different text and maybe put and you can just select and copy and paste and then you can drag and maybe say list of referees 
Okay, so these are list of your referees. You can just uh, list them over here. So this is how you can keep putting the details of your, you can put in list of conferences attended, list of papers, journal papers published, list of anything that you want. You can keep putting, and then you can put other details as well. Extracurricular activities, your hobbies, and all that. So you can put it accordingly. So once you are done, you are satisfied with the CV or with the curriculum, with the resume, you can you can easily export it accordingly. You can easily export it to your computer. So all you need to do once you are done, you are satisfied, you can come to share over here. You can download and you can instead of PNG to be downloading them separate, this time around you go and download in PDF. So this is PDF print and it's going to be the two pages that we have designed and then you say done and once you say done it's going to process it and you can just come to download over here and you to start downloading it so it's very very easy to customize or redesign your your cv you can just say start download and you can see open folder and you can see it over here so you just double click to open and you can see your resume clearly even though it's ELU, but it's saturation <laughs> All right, so this is it's highly professional, very good resolution and all that. Very fantastically done. You can see it very nicely done. So this is about writing or developing resume using Canva. At any given point, you may wish to change the, the naming over here, the name of the document you are working on. So you can just double click and say uh, Rashid CV. Okay, you can just click and it's going to save this as Rashid CV. So that's the name that it is going to take. So be mindful of this. Anytime you're working, you have to put in the name of that folder very easily. So easily you can refer to it. Okay, so this is about resume, how to design or develop your resume from Canva.